this should be live. I hope. And I hope this sounds okay. It's probably gonna take a while to load, I have no idea. Okay, seems I'm live. Live. Hope the sound is okay. Uh, I've had some issues with the quality of the sound. Um, I tried to use my better headphones, but they just weren't working. I've had some issues with these ones as well, so. Um, sorry. I know they sound kind of noisy. There's like a um, background noise in them. Uh, it's kind of one of the reasons I I stopped uh, streaming for a while. A long while. <laughs> like I said, I would uh, restart uh, streaming the pages in autumn and it's been half a year. <laughs> But um, I just had a lot of work and problems, and uh, also my headphones haven't been great, so sorry about that. I know some of you did enjoy the live streams. Hopefully, next few pages, um, I'm gonna get the other headphones to work somehow. I'm not sure what magic I have to use. So far it's a, it's a mystery. Oh, hi! Hi there! Oh, I gotta pop this out. Okay, so I can see you guys. I completely forgot to do this. I'm so sorry. I haven't streamed in such a long time I forgot I have to actually turn on the chat. I s I've did some streaming in um, in Discord and you have the uh, sound chat there and you can just uh, hear if anybody joins and you can hear their voice. Here I have to <laughs> open the chat in the side. Sorry about that. How have you guys been? Crazy times we're living. Good part about not being monetized is that I can say forbidden words. <laughs> yeah. But I'm not sure if you get a shadow ban if you mention it. I'm like, I'm not gonna touch on that. Fear the censorship bots. They want your soul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I was looking at some um, videos about debunking stuff, and it was interesting that one way you can get a... <laughs> Uh, around it is you can post the pictures of it and the thumbnail but as long as you don't mention it in the video you know, like can still get monetized I thought that was interesting What did I press this time? My brush is gone again. I keep pressing something in Clip Studio Paint. I'm not sure what it is, but it's uh, hiding the circumference of my brush. June, do you have any ideas? Ah, cool. Take care, Cornelis. Thanks for coming by. 
Have um, I'll message you later. I guess I don't know. I wanted to ask you if you have done any streams, but I guess I can like go on YouTube and check. My brain's not working very well now. I'm tired. I haven't been much on, on social media to check up on stuff. You've done a few. Okay, I'll go and check them out. Thanks for coming by. Crafts lately. Oh, that's nice. <sighs> yeah. Take care. Uh, her color I have to go. Which chapter is the last one I saw her in? Oh, it was a while ago. She's definitely in the f first chapter, so... Oh wait, I have the character sheet somewhere... Uh, there we go. Sir, will you please look at the shiny red dot? Zap. I always loved that in uh, Men in Black. character sheet here I'm almost done with this comic after four years of working on it it's a strange feeling I don't think I've ever spent so much time on one project. Mostly kind of proud that I finished it, regardless of the <laughs> quality, <laughs> which could have been better, but I, I did the best I could. Without burning out, I got close, but it didn't happen. <laughs> Which is a bit kind of sad, like there were so many comics that I really loved and they got cancelled because um, the author burned out and I'm just really bummed out when something that I love uh, stops being produced. <laughs> Um, like I lived a few for a few years in the US and uh, whenever there was I would find something that I like to eat like it would stop being made so cheesecake uh, creme brulee cheesecake 
uh, was produced for a while and sold at Walmart and they stopped selling it there which was heartbreaking for me also Kroger had really good sushi and what happened with Kroger was that first the sushi stand closed and then it went bankrupt I mean not the franchise but the shop closed for some reason probably not being profitable That was really sad. I really don't know why the creme brulee cheesecake uh, got stopped. Like, who who would hate that? Like, why wouldn't it be a successful um, product? Creme brulee is great, it's awesome, it's one of the best things ever, and cheesecake is also very good, so... If I was an investor, I would think, oh my god, this can't fail, I must invest in it, and also then the customers, oh my god, I have to eat it. So, for those of you just tuning in, um, I am using Clip Studio Paint. Um, June did the line art, and I'm doing the colors. Oh, hi, David! Welcome! I'm, I'm so sorry uh, it took me so long, but I've had so many problems and work and things like that and now I kind of finally got the, the house in order I mean I still have to renovate parts of it but um, because of what's going on right now I'm just not taking any risks of getting on ladders or things like that so I'm, I'm being just very safe So I managed to kind of get the workload done. Also, uh, I've stopped teaching because uh, the, uh, school got suspended and kids are getting a lot of homework. So uh, no extra <laughs> hobbies, um, which was what I was teaching at private um, schools, like hobby after school schools. <laughs> Classes, sorry. So I finally have some more time to do live streams again. Sorry for the horrible microphone. Um, my usual microphone is not working, and that was part of the reason uh, I stopped the streams. I managed to fix it, but now it's not hooking up to the computer for some reason. But hopefully I'll get it fixed uh, in the next few days because there are just um, two pages left for book one for Niels's adventures so I would really like to record that. Just for my nostalgia, <laughs> mostly. Uh, this project has been four years of my life so I kind of like, mm, want to have like memories of it, I don't know. Even if it's on YouTube, but I'm also, I think I am recording it, and if nothing else I can download the, the video later on. So it's nice to have you guys, and 
hopefully I'll be able to announce a bit sooner um, when I'm gonna do the last live stream for Neil's book one just so I can like have more of you guys come over and say goodbye to the series I think that would be sweet because I, I look back on the quick draw collab videos and those were really fun oh by the way uh, for those of you listening I'm going to do another quick draw collab after I finish uh, uh, Niels, so that will be like three weeks from now. If you want to join, um, I will be posting updates in my um, Facebook group, Discord server, and all the other social media places I'm in. Where are you, Grand Grand? Robot. There she is. Because, right. uh, didn't see any other replies, so um, gotta check if he can hear me. <laughs> uh, so, like I said previously, this is Clip Studio Paint. Uh, it's a great program for. Uh, uh, the door's not good. D dang it. Did we accidentally change the door between pages? Because she must have copy pasted from somewhere. Let me see where's the last door they come out of. You can't see it in there, I think. She just didn't notice. And now I realize the door's not right. <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah, but I'm not realizing at which point the mistake has been made. Is it like in other pages as well? With the transforming magical door? Because <laughs> I mean I can change it here, right? Uh, how do I make it? Oh, pinch. There we go. Nah, not that one. Hmm. Where was it? Curved. Okay. And I'll just erase the old one. Yeah, it's okay. I'm just trying to... Why isn't it let letting me move? Oh, and I made it purple anyway. It's not good.
It's a lot more tricky than I thought it was going to be. It's really not intuitive. I'll figure it out later. I'll go look on some tutorials online. Oh, she's missing her apron. I have to get my tablet out for that one. Oh, no, she doesn't have an apron. Maybe I'm remembering things wrong. Or maybe I'm confusing her with one of the other ladies. Because there were so many women I had to draw for the festival. You had to draw and had to color. Uh, and all of them had aprons. So in my mind it's like... Apron. My sleepy brain's telling me apron. Yeah, you can hear me awesome. I keep forgetting to, to check the chat. Oh, properly. I've lost the habit. <laughs> hey, hey Kay, how are you? How's it going? <laughs> oh, that was white. So I have to change the color. Uh, I think the cuffs were white. Yeah, the cuffs are white. Well, I'm good. Um, I started making bread because we can't go out anymore. It's gotten pretty. Uh, the, the whole map for the country is, um, red again, and used to be, like, um, lighter pink, uh, before Easter, and now after Easter, because everybody went to church, uh, it's, uh, it's no go again. Where was the, there we go, got the right shade of brown. I'll turn off Newton so I can color behind his head. So we're just sitting around the house behaving. We have a lot of uh, macaroni and <laughs> cans of tuna, so will survive. Cat's happy about the situation, I'm sure. Though she uh, did um, take the opportunity to sneak outside while I was uh, airing out one of the rooms, left the window open and she made a run for it. Uh, pushed the um, netting that is uh, there to stop mosquitoes. But you don't need too much force in order to push it open. Hi, Allison, how are you? Can you hear me? Awesome. Sorry for the bad microphone. I couldn't get the good one to work today. 
And I had promised myself I will do a stream. <laughs> I haven't posted anything on YouTube in such a long time and on my blog and other stuff. So I just... It's like I have to <laughs> get back to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I waved some... Um, Whiskas uh, or something out the wet food and she was like, ah, food. She got so fat this winter and with what's going on I haven't been able to let her outside because apparently cats can catch it as well. So I was like, yeah, I want you to live. So no going outside for you either, young lady. She'll be a year old um this june i guess we don't know exact the birthday because she's an alley cat yeah i made bread today so it's all good got some deli products out of the freezer and made some sandwiches it's all good And I got some horrible, very sour oranges that I didn't want to eat, but I guess I will have to eventually. And I'll be just like that. Um, like Jerry from Tom and Jerry, when he was licking a lemon, he was like, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> and I had some kiwis that you could break your teeth in, but now they're soft because they're going bad. <laughs> so, it's fun times. Oh, the bread was terrible, yeah, it, it's so rock hard, I'm just not good at it. And, like, I can use it to defend against any toilet paper thieves, because I can just throw those buns at them and crack some skulls, and, like, they're seriously hard. Reinforced concrete grade buns. We do have some sliced bread in the freezer and some, um, uh, what do you call them, hamburger buns, but I really don't like them. <laughs> so I'm gonna eat my horrible bread and my husband will eat the uh, edible bread. Uh, yeah, I'm just, you know, yeast, and I, I either make it too fluffy or, like, um, too dense, it's, it's still a work in progress until I get the right, you know, like, Goldilocks breadness situation. Which chapter were you in? There you go, the intern. Because, like, he's disguised. Uh, no, I have not tried to make pizza, though, because I really don't have much to put on the pizza. I mean, I guess I can put some minced meat on it, but it's, like, weird. <laughs> Caps lock turned on. No, that's not it. I can't see the circumference of my brush. Something weird's going on.
Oh wait, I'm not with the brush. There we go. Oh, a uh, mermaid. Uh, th this month's mer uh, uh, it's May. <laughs> it is the month of May. So uh, we're, I'm gonna redo the mermaid event with the collage and everything like we used to do on Sue. So if you wanna send me your mermaid art, uh, I will add it to the rest of them. Uh, you can either post it in the Facebook group or in the Discord server, whichever it's easier for you. You can also email it to me if you want. Uh, just let me know that you want me to showcase it. Because sometimes people are shy and they don't want to share, so I'm not going to take it from your wall, so you have to send it to me so I know <laughs> for sure. So yeah, the mermaid and reminder, because some more people joined the stream, I haven't checked how many, but um, if you want to take part in the quick draw collab as well, uh, let me know. And since uh, book one is ending, that means chapter six is ending, so if you want to send me fan art with Niels, because uh, you, if you want to be showcased at the end of the book, uh, let me know as well. Send me your fan art. <laughs> uh, so for... Um, uh, Neil's five months time traveling adventures uh, due date is two weeks from now because this is page 154 and we have 155 and 156 and 156 the whole series ends I mean not the whole series the book one because I still have three books I would like to do but we'll see if we get funding and stuff because <laughs> if it takes four years to do one book and I got three more that is another six uh, twelve years <laughs> so yeah I don't know uh... Oh, yeah sure I, I thought that that was done so I posted it just the line art because I didn't know if you wanted to color it I never got a reply. So yeah, book one ends in two weeks. So send us your yeah, it's on it's on Tapastic. You can check it out there, where I post all of the comic pages. <laughs> Whichever you want, like I have no qualms. That's <laughs> <laughs> new. Here we go, priest. I'll do the tabby, her hands first.
Like, do you guys remember the flashing stick from Man in Black? <laughs> That's the one. You didn't see anything. Nothing happened here. <laughs> This is one trick to fill in if you're missing the line art. But otherwise, the, uh, the shape detection in Clip Studio Paint is really good. Click the wrong button. Uh, welcome back. We haven't done a movie night in a long time either. Should probably host again because I'm the host. <laughs> oh, but I haven't had the, the energy for it. Yeah, and I, I don't know what to, to watch as well. Oh, I just saw a review of um, Song of the Sea, which I've also seen, so it is kid-friendly uh, and uh, appropriate. I mean, I think it there shouldn't be any issues. It's a great film. Uh, Ghibli, I just watched all of them recently for the Ghibli mods, so I'm really not in the mood to rewatch them again. Plus, some of them are not for kids, like Princess Mononoke and Do Not Show Your Young Children. Like, I showed it to some teenagers you know, for my class, and I was like... This is a lot more violent than I remember. Fortunately, all of you are age appropriate to watch this. So I was like skipping over to go to the voice acting. Castle in the Sky. Yeah, it's it's fun. It's great, but I don't uh, I haven't seen it for uh, over a year, so I'm not remembering if there's anything to graphic in it because I have the original versions not the censored versions for uh, the West because for example Princess Mononoke had some of the scenes cut out for Western audiences just because there's like some fights in there and they're not afraid to show the gore Oh yeah, and yeah, if you can do some songs that are um Stardew Valley-ish, um it would be really good for the um, Stardew Valley mod if we can have those. Uh I was thinking of contacting some of the YouTubers that I've seen do covers for that are on a that are more um, they're not exactly 8-bit music, but they're kind of gamey, old-timey gamey music, but it's in with Ghibli songs. Uh, so, 
I was thinking of contacting them to ask them to let me use the, the songs for the mod, but if she can do it, that would be great. Okay, let me type it. I'm doing a Ghibli theme mod for Stardew Valley. I'll need Vimi Fuel Songs for that mod. Ghibli covers. Um, if you, you can do it, that would be amazing. If not, I put some songs on YouTube and I'll try and get permission to use them for the mod because for silly reasons we can't use or or uh, originals in the mod so we cannot use um, the original songs from Studio Ghibli in a mod uh, MIDI format? Uh, WAV I would prefer. But you can send me the MIDIs. I'll try and use them. But I have to install like um, all the software and then figure out, remember where all the buttons were. And if you send send me uh, MP3 MP3, um, that would be best, I think, because MP3 is a small format and um, it will be less to download on um, uh, Nexus. Like even if you send me WAV, I would com convert it to MP3. Yeah, so even though we're doing a mod and we're not getting paid for it, the thing is the Nexus mod system gives you rewards for making mods. So then you cannot use anything that is already existing because then they'll take down your mod. Uh, I don't have the skills to do that. Um... I don't know if you know anybody that wants to work for free, like, there is no budget for this because it's a game mod. Nobody is gonna pay them anything. So I'm, I'm like, I don't want to bother people because, I mean, if people would ask me, hey, do you want to work for free? I'm like, no, go away. <laughs> I have to rejoin from the start. Sorry to hear that, June. Have of course I'm in the middle of making game music though. Well, you know, whenever you can. Like, uh, I'm not gonna finish this mod anytime soon. It's really big.
I have to run a bit. Happy streaming. Thanks, you too. Take care. Thank you, you too. Also, sorry to <laughs> hear... Uh, Ghibli songs are so daunting. I guess I'm I'm not realizing what I'm asking people. <laughs> Cause she wasn't like the first person to say. I think it's too hard for me. <laughs> so I'm not sure if it's really like too hard or they're being modest. <laughs> I think it might actually be too hard. I don't know. It is like a masterpiece and all of that, so... But it doesn't need to be very good. I guess people are just, you know, shy. Because, I mean, even if you're asking someone to, like, redo the Mona Lisa, I can do it. I'm just not going to do it perfectly, but it needs to be a reinterpretation. So, I think I can do a Mona Lisa anime style. Like, I'm not the greatest artist, but that I can do. I can make it worse. <laughs> So, from that perspective, I'm like, come on, you can do it. <laughs> you just need to make a pixel art version of it. 8-bit uh, song, in this case. Well, not completely 8-bit. I'm not sure exactly what category um, Stardew Valley music is in, actually. Because it seems like it is full range. But it's um, cutesy and things like that, so... It's not as dramatic as, I don't know, Assassin's Creed or Witcher, things like that. Not opera or... Anyway... I'm going because I want to, want to, not because you told me to. Grumpy Erwin. Cats had a couple of tough centuries um, in Europe, though from what I understand, kind of everywhere. I think the Middle East is the only place where they were never vilified, though I'm not sure, it just seems like it.
If you can be any animal uh, for a day, what animal would you be? I wouldn't mind being a some kind of bird or something during this time so I can do a bit of traveling but not actually contract anything <laughs> like I can't be a cat or a dog because apparently it jumps species so yeah I would like to be a bird I would like to go somewhere out of the house There were some memes going around the internet uh, with, um, uh, I think it was that, that film with the Somali pirates and there's like the bad guy telling the um, ship captain, look at me, I am your boss now. And the memes were like, look at me, I am your sleep schedule now. And that's kind of how the voice sleep schedule got away from me. I just need to get back to a normal sleep schedule and I just don't know how I'm going to do that. I'm trying to be a responsible adult and uh, sleep when I should sleep, but I keep Staying up late. Sometimes I want to do like the laundry and other stuff, and then I realize, oh wait, it's it's 1 a.m. <laughs> I can't do my laundry. Other people might be normal in sleeping, so I'm like, I'll do it tomorrow, and then tomorrow I forget to do it at a reasonable hour. At this rate, I'm going to run out of clean clothes. <laughs> uh, what color was the staff? I think it was red. May have been red. Nah, I should probably check. Oh, it's white. I try to give funny teeth and faces to all the characters so that uh, you don't get them confused. This is one thing I've always liked about uh, French cartoons. The characters are so diverse. In American and especially Japanese cartoons, you just can't tell the characters apart. Though I would say that a lot of them are kind of learning more and more. I would say that Disney did the character differentiation the most, but when it comes to princesses, they kind of all fit a one body type. And you can just switch the hair on them and it's the same character, <laughs> kind of anime-ish like in that regard. Oh, we'll change the skin color and the hair and it's the same person, yay! Guess it makes projecting on that character more easily.
And like the later princesses, they started making more differences between them, like uh, Mulan has a different face. And Jasmine, I think. But then Ariel, oh, um, Tiana looks just like Cinderella in her shape. And then Frozen Girls and Tangled. And they kind of look the same. Just change the hair color on them. Luna's kind of the only one that has a different nose and legs. fingers here I think I should like um, close them a bit because they're doing the cross here like praying for safety and you kind of do the thing with the three fingers So him, I want him to just nope out of there, so I'm gonna erase the eyeball because he's gonna look sideways as to what is going on. And he's just gonna be, nope, I am out of here, this is too crazy for me. I think I should do that eyebrow a bit raised. Kind of have a more suspicious looking face. much I always have a mirror by my desk and I kind of look at the mirror and try and do the face and uh, then put it onto page
so much faster to <laughs> color in uh, Clip Studio Paint if you want to make comic books. Once you use Clip Studio Paint, you will not want to use <laughs> whatever you were using before, because I, I don't think there's anything better on the market at this moment. And especially if you get Clip Studio Paint during one of the the discount events they do, usually in November. I paid twenty five dollars for my copy. Um, compared to a Photoshop that is ten dollars every month. Like if Clip Studio Paint has what you need, it's uh, really a bargain. If you want to do photo editing, like I would definitely say that it's not for that. It's for comic books mostly. And anime style drawings. I'm trying to get the hang of the 3D features, which are really great. Uh, I think I'm going to do a lot of um, game art and Clip Studio Paint. Not sure how well it uh, handles textures and wrapping around them, but I think it should be able to do what Photoshop does for that. I haven't tested out yet. I only did uh, paint over 3D objects. So you rasterize, or you can keep it 3D and then just draw over it. And it's on my list to learn how to use Blender better. I haven't been very good at it. And I definitely want to up my game for um, book two. If I ever get to it. I'd love to do colored line art as well. But for that one, we need to make character sheets for everybody and actually follow them. I feel like colored line art adds so much depth and warmth to characters. Um, any comic book that I've seen, comic book pages that I've seen, colored line art versus um, black line art, there's such a huge difference. I think even if you do like purple line art or something like that, it's um, still better than black, but Black is just such a safe color for line art, it's like the most acceptable one. And even when you start your comic off and you think, oh, I'm not gonna need it, uh, there's always like something that happens in the comic that you didn't think through as much and you're like ah oh, I did not think this through was definitely the the shoes like a lot of stuff I made could have been made with far less uh, detail because <laughs> I didn't realize how repetitive it would be and tedious to do certain things
and if it's something like shoes, it's really not worth it. Yeah. Fortunately, we have, like, copy-paste. So... <laughs> Uh, for line out, you just copy paste the foot or whatever you need. Uh, this hill was, um, what do you call it? Uh, nine panel window. Because we made it on the other side of the house with nine panels, if I don't, if I remember correctly. And I forgot to tell you. Uh, to update that, let me see. What was it? When Erwin is looking out the window, there we go. So he's looking out the window, and here you can see there are at least six panels, and probably a nine panel window. But it's no biggie, like it's really easy to edit. And I just love this about Clip Studio Paint. Yeah, 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 I, I edited in the other ones as well. At least I should have. Yeah, okay, I did. Wasn't sure. Yeah, like definitely the continuity on windows and doors has been our biggest problem in this series. <laughs> we have magical doors and windows that change shape at will. I'll have to, after the, the series ends, uh, and I take a little break to clear my brains. I'm just gonna go page by page and just um, correct everything because there are a bunch of little um, problems things that we we missed you know what I think I can copy paste from the other uh, yeah, they're kind of more squeezed in together. Yeah, and you have the windows there. The roofs are brown, brown, blue, brown, brown. Come on, <laughs> I wanted to do this a lot more colorful, the comic, but it just the architecture doesn't allow for it. Kind of looked at the historical buildings and they're all pretty drab Cambridge for that time. Maybe when we're in um, Asia, and that's gonna be book two, and book three is gonna be in Italy, if I remember correctly. Gallo, Gallo is in the Tuscany area. So I'm hoping the buildings there are more colorful. I have to check again. If not, I'm going to have to find a believable way to insert some color. 
Because so far this color palette here is really ugly. I'm not digging it. And I just look at other people's comics and I'm like, how did you... Oh, that that's how you did it. Sneaky, I have to write that down. I definitely tried to play with uh, colorful shadows, like shadows are always purple. Or cooler anyway. But still colorful. Just so I can keep in some of that saturation. What is going on here? to be on the right layer. Maybe it's too small and it's detecting the pixels wrong. Also the colors are pretty similar. not on the roof yet. 51. Okay, so two red roofs there. I try to keep the colors of the roof as well different. Take care, June. I'm, I don't think I'm gonna stay for long, because uh, I'm pretty much done. Good night, June. Take care. Bye-bye. Page 40. I think I had a night illustration. Wait, wait, wait. In so I get the same color, so it's consistent. Yep, seventy nine. There it is.
De cât timp streamuiesc? Hai de. De cât timp streamuiesc? I've been streaming how long? Starting to get a bit tired. <laughs> And if I make streams that are like ridiculously long, <laughs> it'll be weird. But at least I made a lot of progress. I didn't go anywhere, I didn't do anything else. I'm almost done with it. Um, I used to do the streams also, so it uh, kept me focused because I always find something to do. And I didn't want to leave the page for the last uh, day Thanks, Lieutenant. Uh, what did I cut out? Uh -huh, okay. So this segment here, I wanna delete because it's gonna be the night sky in there. Bushes. And here I just kind of have to draw all of that uh, grass stuff because uh, the line art is missing. Thank you. It's very nice to be glad you like it. Sorry about the bad mic. Um, my good mic microphone is uh, it wasn't working today, and I wasn't able to make it connect to the computer. I don't know what's going on. Glad you found the the tutorial useful. I've been meaning to get back to that. Like I have a whole list of other little. Uh, tutorials I have to do uh, and also if you have any recommendations on that if there's something you wanted to know more of uh, let me know so I can add it to the to the list
You know what, this one here, I can just delete it. Uh. <laughs> I must say, I do love the eraser and the uh, Clip Studio Paint. Glad you got Clip Studio Paint, I think it's a really good program. It makes your life so much easier. And there's just more and more awesome stuff that's coming out for digital art, so it makes me enthusiastic about the future. Uh, custom brushes. Yeah, that's always a problem, but it's really easy to find it, so I didn't do a tutorial on that. See, and you click here on downloads, and... This is where they are, and you just grab them. I think this is a brush. Yeah, it's a brush. And then you go to your own brushes. Where was it? Pencil. And you just drag and drop. And now you have that brush. Oh, I need a, I need a pen tablet, but you get the idea. Because I'm doing it, but I just have my mouse now. Because I don't need the tablet for the bucket tool filling colors. So when you you get um, uh, an asset from the asset gallery, and yeah, and everything goes in here. So whatever you've downloaded, it, it goes into materials and then download, and then you just drag and drop wherever you needed it, and it's such a cool feature it's not intuitive if you're coming from Photoshop because you just don't think that that's possible and then once you do it's like mind blown it was there all along <laughs> also I really love that in text um, you can have like your own little custom list so you can uh, have like your favorite list of uh, fonts so let's say for a comic book you're using um, only three fonts for different things the speech bubble the effects the whatever else you need and uh, so that you don't go through the list all the time you can just favorite your uh, fonts and you have like your own little list that you can keep and I wish Photoshop had that but at least it has like an easier search function because you just type in what font you want but then you have to like remember the name of the font and if you're bad at remembering font names that is gonna be an issue But after four years of using kind of the, the same fonts, I've sort of memorized them. And they have kind of like a gravel area here yeah so um I'm mostly done with this page but I'm a bit tired so I'm gonna finish it offline uh, thank you so much for joining me I uh, hope I've answered your questions, and uh, for those of you watching the stream uh, after this, I'm uh, just going to summarize. So we have Mermaid, 
event now in May, so send me your mermaids if you want to be part of the collage. Uh, also, send me any Niels Feynman fan art uh, in the next two weeks, so if you want to be featured at the end of the comic. Uh, quick Draw collab is coming after I finish book one of Niels, so that's going to be in two or three weeks. We're going to have the Quick Draw collab, so if you want to wanna be an artist and participate in that, uh, let me know. Uh, so I can add you to the list and to negotiate the time zone, uh, the schedule for that, because we're going to try and make sure that everybody can join and choose an hour that is convenient. Uh, and yeah, I think that was the three major announcements. I wanted to make sure everybody hears so you didn't miss out on events. Um... So yeah, thank you for joining. If you have any more questions or suggestions and you're watching this after the stream, uh, leave them in the comments below and I will try my best to answer them. Thanks for watching. Take care.